Hey there, everyone. We're going to be going back to the scorn of the octopus and the teacher for another kill. We've still got half energy. You know, one more day. I figured, why not? Uh, and a few of you have asked, what do I do if I don't have, like, Silvo, Sylvie or Folka? Uh, so here's a, tomb, a team with no Sylvie or Folka. So we're going to be using C card for um, tanking. He's going to be physical covering. He's got passive provoke. He's got some high defense, some spirit, um, some resistances, and immune to the important statuses. Uh, Fina is going to be the healer. She can do, um, you know, heals, resistance, mana regen, etc. She's got spirit and, you know, some resistance. Uh, Rem, same thing. She's going to be doing heals. And she can do elemental nuking. And that's going to be important for the phase changes, which was explained to me by Gonzi. Because she has fire and wind element. And also she has earth for sealing um, typing if needed. And I gave her a holy wand so she can cast holy as well. Nicole is going to be doing things like regeneration, buffs, mana regen, etc. Other than that, he's just got, you know, etc. The usual stuff, some survival. Leela is going to be our chainer. She's got tiger fangs. She's enhanced. Um, got some killers on. Status immunity. Her resistance is less important because she's got huge spirit. She can take the magical attacks even with less resist. Uh, and then the friend we're grabbing is Venus's... Um, Leela, same thing, status immune, high spirit, um, high defense, non-elemental weapons, that is useful as well. Uh, he doesn't have a killer equipped, but I mean his stats are really good anyway, so it should be fine. And he is enhanced. That's very important that the Leela is enhanced. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into it. So Leela got her enhancements fixed. Like, her enhancements originally were terrible because she was still a broken chainer that her she did not chain properly. Uh, but Gumi, the next week, actually patched it in and fixed Lila. So now she's a proper chainer. Uh, so now she's actually worth using, which I'm really happy about. Anyway, here's the ambush. Um, it might kill the Lilas. Lilas have pretty low defense. Um, okay, well, mine and the other one dodged, which is convenient. Uh, so the boss is currently immune to magic, so we don't have to worry about the element swapping for now. Um, so because we had a Leela Death, we'll go ahead and raise her. So it's dual cast, um, a raise and a heal. Alright, so the friend Leela, um, we'll go ahead and, I guess just twin palms. And I think the boss is weak to lightning. Yeah, so let's just imbue ourselves with lightning as well. Get ready for some damage next turn. Uh, Nicole is going to use, um, he's going to use the barrier stances to get the Esper Gauge filled up a little bit. Which will also make this quicker than usual, even though he got two terrible rolls. So we're going to cover with, um, Sieg. And Fiend is going to do just a Divine Veil for, uh, resistances. To water resist buff. Okay. Uh, so this turn, Sieg's going to die, unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay. So we're going to use Fortune Stance and a Mana Regen. Leela's are just going to chain Heaven Shield. Now, I'm not going to bother imbuing or anything because the boss is going to change the immunities in just a second. So let me go ahead and just get our damage in while we can. Yeah, mine's not imbued because she died on turn one. Okay, uh, so Sieg will use his Glorious Guard to reduce damage taken. He's going to die anyway, so you know, just be aware of that. That's okay. Uh, Rem will go ahead and... Rem will hit the boss. Let's see, we'll dual cast. We'll dual cast Holy, just to get it out of the way for that mission. And we'll dual cast uh, a heal and a re-raise on Sieg, because he's going to die here. At the end of the turn, that gravity attack, the only way to survive it with a physical tank is invasion, and we're not using invasion. So Sieg is going to die every time that happens. Every two turns. And there's the attack that kills Sieg. Unfortunately. 
All right, so the boss is immune to physical. And the way you, um, as I'm explained to it by Gonzi, you look at the boss, if he is weak, if he doesn't have, or if he's currently uh, in peril to fire or wind, you want to look. So the boss is resisting wind, which means he's weak to fire. So you want to hit him with fire each turn that he's in this phase. And it'll force him to swap back to physical vulnerability. So we're going to fire, and um, we'll just heal with Ram for the other, the other skill. Uh, Sieg did die, so we're going to have to give him some mana so we can cover. We're going to mana, and we're going to give him a mitigation buff. Fina will give a Divine Veil buff for the resistance. Sieg will stylish form. And we will twin palms and self-discipline on the Leelas as we wait for uh, the boss to go back to vulnerable to physical. So again, Rem is going to hit the boss with fire, and she'll heal. Uh, Sieg's going to die again, so we're going to dual cast a re-raise, and um, just a regular heal, I guess. Uh, Sieg with his guard, he's already covering. Nicole will... Uh, impregnable and open up that one. And Fortune Stance and Leela's will activate Nighten so we can. That's not Nighten. So we can triple cast next turn. Okay. He's going to kill C card here. It's pretty annoying, but you know, whatever. And it killed him twice. That really sucks when that happens. Uh, Alright, so we need to get C back alive. And the boss should be vulnerable to physical now, as you say he is. Uh, and he's vulnerable to lightning, so we're going to imbue lightning and then double heaven shift. View lightning and double heaven shift. Uh, I want to do resistances, so I want to get Sieg back up, and we'll heal. Now I don't have physical cover this turn, which is going to be unfortunate. But I think we'll be okay. And Fiend is going to divine veil for the um, resistances. And let's go ahead and chain. So one of these Leelas is going to die. Hopefully C covers my Leela because she is a lot weaker. As you say, she has half the hit points of Venus's, who has quite a few SDMRs. Oh, perfect. So C protected mine. And the friend Leela uh, survived. Nice. All right. So we're going to obviously kill Orthros next turn anyway. And here's the haste attack. But they're all going on C, so it's like, whatever. Alright, so C will just summon an Esper for that mission. Nicole will just mana regen twice. Rem will hit uh, the boss with Quake and Tornado just for the mission. Um, we will heal. And Leela's will Heaven Shift. Alright, there we go. And that takes care of Phase 1. Outstanding. And 
And there they go, that beautiful 95 point chain. It's so nice that Lily got good enhancements. That saved her. Alright, here's the ambush. Uh, it might kill people. It shouldn't, though. We have really high spirit on this team, so everyone should survive, theoretically. Perfect, perfect. Okay, um, so we need to cover with Sieg. That's, that's always. Uh, Fina is going to go ahead and Eternal Light for the AoE re-raise. Nicole is going to uh, use both his cooldowns. Leela is going to Night In. We want to get that triple cast with three turns going. And Rem will just mana conversion for now, because this first turn we don't need to do anything. So she'll just go over one mana back up. Okay. Ouch. Oh, I didn't do resistance. Duh. That's why Sieg died. Uh, yeah, really unfortunate. I forgot about resistance. Okay. We'll deal with it. Um, so we need to... Let's, let's go ahead and imbue Lightning and start dealing damage. Uh, we need to re-raise on C. And actually we need Fire Resist on C too. So we're going to Fire Resist. And we need to hit the boss with... Um, what element do we need to do first? Earth Damage first. So let's Fire Resist and Earth, earth Damage. Sieg needs to cover again. Yeah, that was a messy turn one. Athena uh, needs to heal and re-raise on Sieg. Uh, because Sieg died, we need to do buffs again. So Nicole will Fortune Stance and Impregnable. And let's go ahead and do our damage. Okay. Four Sieg's mana. Alright, just gonna kill Sieg right here. That's fine. Alright, we need to hit the boss with the wind damage this time. Alright, so. Uh, let's go ahead and link stance. Sieg needs mana to cover, so let's give him mana and let's give him mitigation again. Leela's are just gonna triple cast Heaven Shift. Once he gets mana, we'll go ahead and cover. Uh, we need to hit the boss with wind, so Rem will do wind. Um, bar Fyrega and wind. And Fina will heal and re raise on Sieg. Alright, and Leela's will chain. Now we've got more uh, killer stacked towards Aqua than Demon, so we're not dealing quite as much to Typhon, but it's fine. So Sieg's going to get uh, killed this turn anyway, I mean dispelled, so we're going to go ahead and guard Sieg, because he's going to get dispelled in the first place, so like it wouldn't matter. Um, Nicole will give us Fortune Stance and Impregnable Stance.
Athena is going to Divine Veil. Uh, so we need to hit the boss with Holy this turn. So we're going to dual cast um, Holy and a heal with Rem. And the Leelas will chain. Okay, we're getting there. So there's the Dispel. Okay. Not too bad. And that killed Sieg, but um, it was the gravity attack, that's why he was covering. But it's fine. I mean, we couldn't have re-raised him anyway because we needed the spell. Uh, so this time we need to hit the boss with... We're probably going to kill the boss here, honestly. Oh, we don't have dual cast or triple cast anymore. We probably won't. Um, so let me think for a minute. We need to... That was holy. So we're back to Earth. We need to hit the boss with Earth. Okay. So let me dual cast um, a full life and a heal. With Fina. Alright, Rem needs to hit the boss with Earth to seal him. And we need a fire resist for C, because Typhon's fireball really, really hurts. Uh, Nicole needs to give us Fortune Stance and Impregnable. And Leela's will just dual cast Heaven Shift. We're not going to bother wasting a turn to triple cast because the boss is almost dead. Wait till Quake finishes. I don't want to break this chain. Alright, here we go. This might kill, might kill the boss. Probably won't, though. But you never know. Because this is only a dual cast. This is not a triple. If I had to guess, I'm going to say he's going to stop at like 1%, 6%. Close enough. Okay. Ouch. So rude. Alright, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and kill Typhon, like, right now. Typhon, you're dead. Goodbye. Alright. He's dealt with. Uh, Orthos. So... This is turn six. This is going to be... Okay, gravity. Um, yeah, so I was looking what Orthos Orth was going to do this turn. He's going to phase change the turn and everything, so yeah, so we're fine. Um, so, Rim, you're going to get Sieg up, and you're going to heal. Fina, you're going to do a resist all buff of Divine Veil. And Nicole, you're going to give us Impregnable and Fortune Stance. Now, Sieg's going to cover someone. Yeah, he definitely will. So he, that, means he, that means he's going to dive to the gravity attack, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, he didn't ever re-raise either. That's fine. Alright, so. Now we're going to start dealing with the boss for real. Let's go ahead and raise and heal. We're ready to start working on Titan. Or Ultras. Uh, Leela's are going to do... Knighting, because I don't want to attack this turn with no cover, because they have low defense, and that they will get destroyed by the counters. So, Fina, you'll Divine Veil this turn. And, Nicole, you'll just do the same thing you just did, to give buffs to Sieg again. 
Alright, so this time C won't die because there's no gravity attack this round. Okay. Um, let me think for a second. What is the boss weak to? He's weak. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna imbue because it's only one turn left of his phase. We're just gonna triple non-elemental. Uh, Sieg needs to cover. Nicole needs to. Uh, we need to summon more espers, so we'll just summon an esper right here. Get it out the way. Rem is going to... Actually, Fina is going to dual cast a heal and a re-raise on C because he's going to die. Rem will do an MP conversion after we chain quite a bit. Tentacles, and that's going to kill Sieg at the end of the round. Hopefully it's not Tempest. Oh, it is Tempest. So Sieg's probably going to die twice. Tempest hits like a bunch of times and usually kills the tank twice. It did. But it's fine. So the boss is vulnerable to... Um... Okay, so he's weak to win. We need the boss to win twice. Alright, so we're going to do that with Rem. Rem will raise Sieg and hit the boss with wind. Leela's will just knight in twice, because we can't hurt the boss right now. Nicole will do his usual. He'll, um... We'll barrier stance. Actually, no, we're going to save barrier stance for later in the fight. We're just going to use regular mitigation. But mitigation and force. We don't have cover right now, but Sieg is passively provoking, so it's fine. And we'll Divine Veil. He's taking more damage than usual because he doesn't have his good cover active, but it's fine. Alright, Rem needs to dual cast Tornado, and she'll do the heal this round. Did I get Sieg re raise yet? Because he's going to die again this turn. I did not get him re raise. Alright, so he will get re raise and another heal. Sieg will cover. We'll just knight in again with these two. And Nicole will... Not much for Nicole to really do. So he'll just mana regen twice. Alright, so because we hit the boss with the wind both times during that phase, he's going to go back to vulnerable to physical on his turn. Hopefully he uses Hailstone at the end of the round. Hailstone, there it is, perfect. Okay. So now we can hurt the boss. He is vulnerable to lightning. Yes, so we're going to imbue the Leelas with lightning. And then do a triple heaven. Or a double heaven this turn, triple next turn. Um, let's go ahead and do that first. Before we do, use anything with the rim. Alright, rim will MP conversion so Sieg can cover. Sieg will now cover. Uh, 
Sun Nicole will do the usual. He will do Impregnable and Fortune Stance for Sieg, but Sieg has died about 32 times. And Fina will do Divine Veil for Resist All. Alright, and next turn we can do a triple cast, pure damage, and, and we're imbued as well. So it'll be nice. Uh, so this is turn... 11, okay. So next turn is going to be the... Um... Wait, what? Why did Sieg die? Why did Sieg die, really? That should not have happened. That really shouldn't have happened. Ugh, seriously. Okay, well, whatever. We'll fix it with Fina. Or Rem. So Rem will do that, and we'll do that. Leela, y'all are both going to die horribly here, because you don't have cover. You're going to die to the counters, but we're not going to let our damage... We're not going to let our uh, triple cast go to waste. Let's get it in. And Fina will AoE re-raise. I should have done that before chaining. Alright, Nicole, you'll just buff the two buffs for Sieg again. Yep, there goes Venus. That's fine. And the boss's turn. Does plenty of have plenty of attacks. And he's gonna haste and do even more attacks in a moment. There's Tempest. Oh, he doesn't haste you because he's only haste above um below below fifty. So that's fine. Alright. Uh, Nicole, you need to do the buffs because people died. What did the boss do? Immune to physical and um, we need to hit him with fire. Yeah, hit him with fire. Okay. Uh, we're going to give Sieg a turbo ether. Because we can, we can use items to fight. Alright, so we're going to stylish form. Because I want Rem to hit him with fire. So Rem will fire and Curagea. So Fina can do Divine Veil for the resistance. And we'll just uh Knight in on Fina. I should have actually used my my Leela to um Knight in and use the other one to to do the, uh... No, it wouldn't have mattered. No, it's fine. Oh, there's so much damage. Ridiculous. Alright, so what is Knight in with both the Leela's again? Uh, C covered last turn, so we don't need cover again. How much mana does his Glorious Guard cost? Uh, 88 mana? Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to have to just buy Rega and Curaja. Actually, Fina can Manatopia. Oh, we need a re-raise, Derp. No, it's not going to work. Okay, so we'll re-raise on Sieg and I guess Curaja, because why not? Sieg with his guard. And Nicole will just repeat. Okay, uh, turn fourteen. So this is going to be nothing. It's fine. And the boss will go vulnerable this phase, this turn. Uh, but Sieg is going to die here. No big deal. And he went vulnerable to lightning. Alright, so we will... Uh, actually, are we still imbued with lightning? Can we just skip that? 
boost lightning resist. How about add lightning element? No, we're not imbued anymore. Okay. Uh, add lightning element. And double hit. Sieg will cover, but he can't a bit of mana, so we'll MP conversion. Now he will cover. Fina is going to re-raise on Sieg. And heal. Yeah, and Nicole will... Uh, he can do Barrier Stance and Fortune Stance for the even better mitigation. And let's go. This might push the boss below 50. If so, it's going to be a haste turn, which is why I wanted to uh, stop at 51. That'd be perfect. 51, stop. Wow. Called it. That's really good, actually. Because now I can use Fina to um, Divine Veil before pushing him low. Alright, so that that is turn 3 of the rotation. Now we're going into turn 4 of the rotation, which is nothing dangerous at all. Alright, Leela's will triple heaven. Rem is going to heal. Yeah, you know, I wish Rem could could dual cast um uh what's it called? Dual cast re rays. That'd be so nice. Alright, Sieg, you're gonna glorious guard here. Yeah. Fina, you're gonna divine veil. And we're gonna go ahead and triple cap in with the Leelas. Push Ultros below um, 50. Start phase, final phase. Alright, now the boss is gonna start getting serious. Uh, this is turn 16, so this is 1, 2, it's turn 4 of the rotation. He's gonna do magnitude 8 and hailstorm, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Um. Impregnable in fortune, why not? Whatever. Okay. Yeah, this turn, like, nothing really happens this turn. Except for Tempest, which is always annoying. That's going to kill Sieg. Please don't kill him twice. It did. It did, of course. Of course it did. Alright, um, so Leela's going to die again. This really sucks. Ugh. That was turn four. Next is turn five. It's going to be the Berserk. Oh, this is so annoying. Yep. Alright, Rem. You've got to get Sieg back up. And the heal. Oh, what did the boss go to? Uh, immune to physical... Oh, I didn't... Shoot! Shoot! I didn't hit him with fire. Didn't hit him with fire. Really? Can anyone else cast fire? Oh, I think I gave... Yes! I mean, Seek has no buffs if I do this. Okay, Seek has no buffs. This is going to be a potential problem, but whatever. Alright. And let's open Eyes Flash. Self-discipline three times. So Seek is going to get Berserk here. And he has no mitigation buff at all right now. Yeah, 
So Sig's gonna waste his turn. Which is super annoying. Because now the next turn is the real dangerous turn. So we gotta hit the boss with fire. Yeah. To make him change phase. We're gonna dual cast fire and a heal. Fina is going to Eternal Light. Nicole is going to Fortune Stance and Impregnable Stance. And Leela's are going to Nighten. Alright, so Sieg's going to die at the end of the turn. Hopefully not twice, though. Alright. Or more to the point, hopefully my unit doesn't die. Jeez, look at this. And here comes the haste and the million volts and all. Oh, mine's probably gonna die. Almost certainly. Toxic spawn. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. That sucks. I mean, I don't have dual cast. Um, it's actually okay though. I just can't triple cast, like, whatever. Uh, weak to lightning. Alright, so, mine lost his dual cast from dying, so we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do... Heaven Shift, and then he'll use his last action to imbue. Alright, Sieg needs to cover. Rem needs to... No, we need to do resist, too. Oh, we need to do a lot of stuff this turn. And Sieg doesn't have mana to cover. How am I gonna do this? What, no, what's the turn coming up? That was turn six. Next is magnitude eight, doesn't matter, and aqua breath. Actually, it's just an aqua breath. So we don't need resist buff. Yeah, we don't need resist buff this turn. Which means Fina can do Manitopia. Perfect. Which means C can cover. Oh, outstanding. This works out great. Which means Rim can. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Rem needs to heal. That's fine. Uh, Nicole needs to link stance in preg. Actually, he always his good one's not, his good one's not available. Do that. And let's go. Alright, so next turn we'll do more damage, because next turn the, uh, the friend Leela is um, imbued. Mine couldn't, because she lost her triple cast, but that's fine. Alright, and just some Aqua Tentacles. Let's see, yeah, this turn's real tame. Uh, next turn is a Hailstorm. And a Berserk. Yeah, that Berserk is real annoying. Alright, uh... So we'll just dual heaven, and the friend will dual heaven and just do a self-discipline, because why not? Go ahead and get that in. Okay, we're almost there. Do a limit on him. Uh, let's... Have Nicole do the last Esper. We need that for the mission. Let's have Fina do. No, we don't need Divine Veil this turn, actually. No, we don't need Divine Veil this turn. No, Fina's gonna do it on the first. And Rem will just heal. And Isuna Sea Guard does. Why not cure his poison? Less damage taken. 
He's gonna die anyway. Okay. So There's gonna be a magnitude and a hailstorm, and then it's gonna kill Sieg. Uh, hopefully a berserk Sieg before it kills him, please. I don't think I don't, I don't think it will though. I think it's gonna kill Sieg and then berserk him. Yeah, it did. Oh, so annoying. Man, there's the berserk. Waste your action. All right, next turn is gonna be a toxic storm and a lot of other bad stuff. Okay, so we gotta hit the boss with um fire. Okay, so we're gonna hit the boss with fire, not bar fire. We need to hit him with fire. Uh, and we're gonna then we're gonna dispel that berserk, so C can act the turn after. So dispel. So hit with fire and dispel that berserk off the of sea. Alright, Fina is going to dual cast a Curagia and a re-raise on C, because it's very possible he dies here. Very likely, in fact. Nicole is going to Fortune and Impregnable for C. Uh, the boss is immune, so we'll just have Leela's do uh, Nighten. That will ensure that the Leela survive. Alright, so this is going to be Magnitude, Aqua, a Million Volts, Haste, and then Toxic Storm. And actually, it's probably going to kill my Leela. Oh, we never did a resist buff, did we? We never did. That's the reason my, we're taking so much damage. Dirt. That's fine. We got re-raise. That's why we cast all those re-raises. Alright, so we gotta hit the boss. So next turn is gonna be... Nothing important. Good. Um... Man, I really wish Sieg had more mana. Ugh. Alright. Gotta hit him with fire, though. It's gotta happen. Alright, so we're gonna dual cast. Byrega and a heal. Uh, could I just guard Sieg, maybe? Maybe. Because we're not, we're not attacking the boss, we don't really need to worry about covers or counters. Um... Oh, Magnitude 8 will hit my leader real hard. Uh... No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Divine Veil. Instead. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cover. Barrier and Fortune Stance. We've got good mitigation, too. And Leela's will knight in. Okay. Yeah, so the boss should go vulnerable to physical this turn. And we should be able to finish the fight, I think. Oh, yeah, we're fine. With the resist buff, no, no big deal at all. We're good. There it is. And Hailstone. No big deal, we got re-raise. Oh, we healed too. We're a jerk. Alright, um, so he is weak to lightning again. So we'll open Eyes Flash. Are we still in Boot of Lightning? We might be. Add Lightning for one more turn. Um. Yeah, let's just go. Oh, didn't Mind die, actually? The so Mind Lost is in view. Yeah, Mind Lost be in view. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go for the Flash. Um, Lightning and Dual Heaven. Let's go ahead and imbue Lightning and Dual Heaven. Um, Rim, let's have you MP conversion. I want to do a cover on Sieg. Sieg will cover. Leela's going to resist all. Nicole is going to impregnable and fortune stance. And let's go. 
So this should deal something like 8% damage, and then the next turn should be able to finish him off. I think. Oh yeah, he's so dead next turn. Uh, and Sieg is going to get berserked here, but we don't really care. Okay. And Berserk. Now normally we would dispel the Berserk and deal with it, but uh, we're about to win the fight. So we summon three Espers. Uh, I'll just do Heroic Stance and Fortune Stance anyway. Even so. Um, we did Earth and Holy a bunch here. We'll do double Earth. We'll do double Holy, just for the sake of saying we did it. And we'll go ahead and chain. So we did Limit Burst as well. There it is! Uh, Orthos, all missions with Leela and using C card, uh, Fina, Rem, Nicole. We did not use Sylvie or Folka, so it can be done. 24 turns. It was actually quicker than my Sephiroth clear, too. And it does help that uh, my friend Gonzi the Mage pointed out how to make the boss slop through the, the resistances properly. Alright. See you guys next time.